Oakman in Gary Antonio Russell and also Rodriguez as well. But first of all, Gary, can you tell us, I mean, how are you feeling? I mean, I know that he took the brunt of the, the headbutt, but are you okay? I know you were kind of, you know, touching your head and everything else. Is everything okay physically? You all right? Yeah, physically, I'm okay. You know, I actually have a, a cut on my head, too. Oh, you do? Yeah, did you have to get stitched up? You know, if you want to talk into the microphone a little bit, did you have, did you have to get stitched up? Uh, no, I don't believe I'm going to have to get stitched up. Okay. Um, we stopped the bleeding in the back of the room. Uh, but yes, I'm kind of disappointed the way the fight went. I trained about five months. Uh, I had a fight some months ago. It got postponed, but I didn't take up. I kept training, I kept grinding, uh, but it's actually happened. So it was a big disappointment to me. Coming off of the win over Juan Carlos Payano, which was a significant win for you over former world champion, you know, you had momentum coming into this fight and everything else, but you know, what did you, did you see anything in the first 16 seconds? Were you able to process anything in such a short amount of time against Rodriguez that you thought, okay, you know, I'm gonna be able to be successful here in, in the small bit that you saw? Yes, absolutely. Uh, when I first came out, my first jab, I shot it fast, intentionally. I noticed that his reaction time was really slow. Mm -hmm. At that moment, I knew, oh, He's someone I'm gonna end up picking apart to this long to this fight go. If it goes if it goes any longer, he's gonna get stopped or knocked out or hurt. I, I see myself completely uh, dictating and dominating this fight if it were to continue to go. What did your brother, your brother Gary Russell, the WBC featherweight champion of the world, you know, he's been there. I mean, you guys are all so close. Your father as well. I mean, you guys are very, a tight-knit family. But what did your brother, and what did your father tell you uh, in the back after the fight? Uh, keep your head up. I know you hurt. I know you're disappointed. You didn't get to broadcast more of your skills this fight, but look. We're going to go back to the drum board. Come Monday, we'll be back in the gym. And we'll go from there. Do you think uh, in a perfect world, I mean, obviously not, you know, over the next few weeks, but do you think that you and Rodriguez will rematch uh, relatively soon? Is that, you know, I'm sure that that would interest you, but, you know, what's going through your mind timetable-wise? Uh, first, of course, I would love... Uh, I would love for my next opponent to actually be Emmanuel Rodriguez again. Okay. I feel like uh, he was a worthy opponent. I'm pretty sure that he put the work in in the gym, and I'm sure that he's upset as well the way it's played out. Uh, with that being said, if he could possibly be my next fight, I would take it hands down. No question. Uh, we're warriors at the end of the day, and I would expect them to want the same. Do we have questions from the media for Gary Antonio Russell? Here we go, and then say where you're from. And Uh, my name is Bukovian Boxing Scene. Uh, did you feel the fight was prematurely stopped because it felt like Rodriguez wasn't even given the chance to say if he was okay or, uh, you know, give his side of the story? I can't really say. I, I didn't feel his pain or anything. Uh, it, it's the ref call. You know, the ref that we had, she's very professional. I feel like though that she seemed fit that the fight shouldn't go any further. Uh, so that's all I can really go off. If Rodriguez actually wanted to go, I'm pretty sure he probably would have continued the fight. Because the way it looked uh, on the screen was that Rodriguez didn't even come up and the fight was waved off. So it's not like she saw any of the face-to-face -face encounter. I don't know if she asked him or if you heard her ask any questions, but uh, do you feel that you guys should have been at least given a chance to agree to continue? Of course. Of course, we're in a, a brutal sport. It happens. I fought Payano and I got hit by him several times and the fight continued. Um, as a gladiator, I feel as though he should have had a chance to say, you know what, I could continue going or not. But I cannot blame the ref for also making a decision to feel as though that he should not go out. Yeah, especially considering it was uh, on the bridge of the nose where uh, you, you figured the fight. You know. mm -hmm. Honestly, I didn't see where the cut was. Um, when I walked up on Emmanuel, honestly, I didn't see too much of a damage to his nose. I did see that it was a cut. It didn't look dramatic or to the extreme measures in which it could have been stopped. I felt like the fight probably could have continued based off the appearance of Emmanuel. I mean, it's obviously a disappointing ending, but how do you describe it? Like, what, how do you feel right now? 
honestly, my feelings are hurt. My feelings are hurt, you know, I sacrificed so much. Like I said, I had a long camp, uh, just about a five month camp. I had my daughters with me every day, so they sacrificed with me these five months as well. Uh, they in the gym with me in the morning, they in the gym with me at night. When my babies are sleepy, you know, they wiping my face down, they giving me water. So it wasn't just I who sacrificed, it was my daughters as well. And for us to put all this work in together as a family, and it stopped because of an accidental handball, it, it's kind of a bummer. Well, that's what happens sometimes in boxing, but Gary, we'll let you get to your family and you know, look forward to seeing you sooner rather than later. Uh, and hopefully we can run it back with you and Emmanuel Rodriguez and you, know, you can go ahead and get your opportunity to uh, win your world title. Yes, that definitely will happen in the future. It definitely will happen. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Gary Antonio Russell, part of the Dane Russell family.